That was some welcome out there. Yeah. That just what, shows what hit you whenever you came home? Just that turn there from the Valiarnity, all the flags up there, and uh, seeing all the kids in here and all the families, all the volunteers, all the people who over the years built this place from the ground up. That's what it's all about. That's we're the lucky ones in there. Crow Park is huge, is playing the game, but that's for them ones out there. Like, that's that's the people who the backbone of the club, the ones who bring the, the wings through and the children through and look after the place and look after us. That's that's who's for the other day. It's for all them. Ryan, what's it like to save the biggest performance for the biggest day for the biggest stage? Oh, it's this is so much, you know yourself, man. We've, we've been so uh, many finals that were bad and tough on us, and to win it this year, then and then come through and won Ulster and do the Ireland Jesus, it's, 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 it's unfathomable. You can't even think about doing it. Like, and to save that performance here for yesterday was unbelievable. And, and for one, I didn't for one second question where we're going to get beat or be in trouble even after the goal. I knew that team there. Hey, just they dug in and went back to the game plan and we worked through it like we've done all year. And it was a pleasure to play on. Pleasure. What's the thing you'll never ever forget? Uh, I think coming out in Crow Park and seeing the fans, turn around, running that picture, turn around, seeing them all behind me. Um, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. Getting them down there to Crow Park, giving them a day out. Every club knows there's people around the clubs that, that do stuff that just doesn't get, doesn't get seen or doesn't get uh, mentioned. And that's, that's what it's about there for them today. The grounds people, the coaches, seeing all them, getting them a day out in Crow Park and then be able to put a performance on them they, that they love and enjoy it and always remember. That's what it's about. How do you try and put into words the weekend that Steelstown has just experienced? I'm not sure, Mal. I think we're saying to Raymond on the way home there that it'll probably be uh, maybe months or maybe a couple of years before we look back and understand fully what these lads have achieved. You know, to be involved and play a small part in a team who now yesterday and played the game of football they played in Crow Park, to express themselves the way they did and to show people what they're capable of you know, against the, you know, the second best team in the country is... You know, it was absolutely phenomenal. You know, I don't think we had anybody that was less than an 8 out of 10. You know, so there's a number of them that, that were beyond that. And, and you know, just, you know, f to, for those lads to do that on that, you know, on that hallowed ground is just, it's just priceless. It's, it's the stuff that you dream of. You know, that, I was talking to Cahar this morning about you know, the bus with that penalty. You know, pick that spot in Croke Park to have the nerve and the talent to deliver that. It's just, it's just uh, we're in awe of them, to be honest. You just... We've been hanging on to the coattails for the last number of months since, you know, since we won Derry, and you can see them start to flourish and grow and believe in themselves. Um, it's been it's been absolutely staggering, um, and to see particularly you know, the quality of footballer that they have come up against in the last number of rounds. You know, um, you know, we can see the seven scores yesterday. Seven scores, seven scores against the Gale. The two lads started for Kerry last night. One of them won one of the man of the match. We haven't conceded more than nine scores from the area final. Everybody talks about the forwards, rightly so, but Owen Concanon and Kevin Lindsay and those guys are just, those guys, those are, they have my full admiration. We had done a lot of research. Raymond, you know, in particular, Raymond deserves a massive amount of credit. We had done a lot of research on Trim and there was that feeling, I suppose privately the coaches had that feeling that they might struggle with our pace. There were three or four players that we targeted in exactly the same way as we did when the Gale against the Gale. We thought if we could get to Andrew Barry, then he's really their quarterback. He's the fulcrum for all their attacks, holds the defence together. If we could get to him and make him run backwards, then then he would have a long afternoon. He was subbed off. It was exactly the same with Tower yesterday. At six, Tower makes them tick, and. Oren took the legs from Tower, he ran them down the lines of Crook Park, took them back into the middle, and 15 minutes left, they hold them ashore, you know, and um, that's just testament to, 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 to the athleticism of this team. And the training has been actually really easy to manage because, especially during Ulster, the level of those lads, I can't sing the praises of those lads in the squad enough. You know, I know you know, 20 people were lucky enough to play in Crook Park yesterday, 20 were lucky enough. There's another 12 or so that have earned that right just as much and the quality of the training. So I'm really hoping that this year that we see big things from those guys that were wearing number 26, 27, 28, 30, whatever, tomorrow. Because they have made training easy. We have handed jerseys out. You know, the best session we had was um, in the lead up to Dunham Wayne. And um, there was two or three fights. Kellen Hughes got his nose broke. He was covered in blood, refused to go off. It's, it's from, a, from a coaching point of view, it's dead easy. Just. I know you tried to put it into words afterwards, but it's just amazing. I won't, I won't sink in for a while. We were uh, 
driving up the road there, um, coming around the corner, we were singing songs and stuff on the bus and everybody sort of took a breath. Whenever we came around the corner and seen all the flags and the, the people, the, people of the community, <laughs> people of the community just around here um, and driving in the in the gates, it's just there's no more words left for it. It's, it's beyond everything you could ever dream of. And seeing how happy it's made people and sort of people looking for the photos and all the rest, I can see that we've already inspired another group within the city, which is absolutely fantastic. Hopefully we've create a wee bit of a legacy, um, try and build on it now for the next few years. But these are special times now and we've, we've made history. Uh, our preparation is fantastic and it was again, it was the same in Crow Park. We did a wee walk around uh, on Saturday. So it meant all the distractions were out of the way. We could leave the emotion at one side. It was like, right, how do we get the best out of our players? How do we get the best out of us as a team? Uh, and I like to think we got a really good performance in Crow Park. The way he's played with the kicking game, taking marks, using the space, you know, it's streamlined stuff playing like that. But it came down to preparation as well. We knew that they had space and behind their halfback line. Um, they left space uh, in front of their fullbacks and we tried to exploit it. Uh, felt we've a really good front six, especially Cahar and Ben are very tricky customers at the best of times. Like, and I think once they take their eye off one player, it opens up the space for somebody else, you know. Because uh, at intermediate football, you're looking at maybe four, maybe five really good players, and then you can try and exploit the spaces. And in all our places, we're really blessed now that we've had a, a good group coming around at the, at the right time, um, defensively. Again, people like Cannon have just been fantastic all year. Obviously, a really harsh red card, but like he's been eating up county uh, forwards all year. Uh, Baker, the same. You know, normally <laughs> cornerbacks at this level are like, oh, give the ball to number two or give the ball to number four. If you give it to Baker, you're <laughs> you're in for a hell of a night. Like uh, if you give it to him. So our preparation has been fantastic. It's lovely to be able to deliver it on the big occasion um, and see those stands. Of, so many happy Steestown and City people after the game, it's incredible. Final point, you won't worry about it for the next few weeks, but going into the senior ranks, Hugh said it up on the bus there that you aren't finished yet, but is there sort of a burning desire in there that you can go and go another level? Well, it's up to us now to try and establish yourselves at senior level consistently and deliver consistent performances. You've always got to look at the next challenge. That's what we've done all along. We won Derry and that was our Everest for so long. But like, I think I've said to you before, we were all sitting in the bar on the Monday after the county final going, right, what do we do now? Let's, let's really give Ulster a crack. And it was the same as soon as we won Ulster. It was like, right, what's our next challenge? So now that we've won Ireland, we all will obviously soak this up and milk this for quite a while. But no doubt, like there's, a, there's enough real smart characters in our dressing room, uh, real talented players that are going to just get focused and go, away. well, what can we do next? Uh, the next step up's a big step up. Like, Derry standard of football is top class, and we only realised that once we got out of Derry, we got, got on that bit of a run, a bit of belief in ourselves. Um, all right, so it's, the next step's going to be a tough step. Look, brilliant, let's take on the next challenge, that's what we want. You spoke about preparation, does that include your speech? Did you rehearse it many times? <laughs> or is that straight from the heart? Those are, those are secrets, man, I can't tell you that.